Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 worst movies of 2022. Um, there were a lot of stinkers uh, this year. Uh, as with every year, uh, there's at least a good 20 to 25 movies that are just god awful. And, uh, and these 10 are what I call uh, the bottom of the barrel. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get right into this top 10 worst movies of 2022. Number 10 is The Last Man Down. Number 9 is The 355. The 355 has a strong cast, gorgeous, beautiful women, very talented, but this movie just absolutely sucked. Um. From the characters to the writing to just everything across the board. Just 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 a bad movie. Okay? It just goes to show you can put a great cast together to do a movie, but it doesn't always mean it's gonna be a great movie. And this is one of those times. So the three five five comes in at number nine. Number eight is senior year. Number seven is spider head. Number six is Lightyear. This this movie was a big disappointment. Uh, and, and no offense to uh, voice acting for for Lightyear, but uh, to change it up and just go with someone else, it, it just doesn't work. This is a movie that didn't need to be made, um, and. I didn't like the characters, uh, the story, it, it just sucked. Uh, it was hard to get through, and uh, I hope we don't see another movie uh, like this one. Just, just got awful. And um, coming in at number five is possibly one of the worst shark movies I've ever seen in my life. And that is the Requin. Uh, I believe this was an Amazon Prime movie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or at least it was on there. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, me and my niece, uh, Autumn Schaefer, uh, sat down and actually watched this movie. And the CGI, the, sh the shark, was god awful. Uh, it, oh, this was a poorly made movie and possibly one of the worst shark movies I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I actually paid money to watch this movie. So, The Requin, do not waste your time. Number four is a remake that we did not need, and that was Goodnight Molly. Uh, the original one was perfect and it wasn't that old yet they felt that they needed to make a, a remake of the movie if you're going to do a remake make it your own don't go word for word and scene for scene and just make the same damn movie you know mix it up do something else I absolutely just I, I despise remakes that just do uh what the first movie did just with different actors so don't waste your time with good night mommy number three uh last scene alive I, I, if, if you see my review for this movie which i think i may have done uh you have to check out my my channel but just terrible and uh, wow I'm a loss for words I, I, I don't even want to talk about it uh, now these next two movies um, I had a hard time deciding between which one I hated the most and because I'm a huge fan of both these franchises uh, it, it was tough I was back and forth 
on this one for a while. But finally I came to the conclusion that um, uh, Halloween Ends was the second worst movie of uh, 2022. Uh, if you've seen my review, you know how disappointed I was with this movie. <clears throat> uh, this new timeline overall uh, was disappointing. <clears throat> All honesty, I, I don't, I don't see the need for it. I will say. Uh, the first two movies have their, um, you know, they have their kills, they have their moments, but this third and final movie was just complete garbage. And I may revisit it again, uh, but it's not going to change my opinion on it. I, I absolutely hated what they did with Michael, making him a pussy. And um, I wanted to see. Uh, Laurie Strode be killed and didn't get none of that and I it's just it's just frustrating to talk about but Halloween Ends is number two and the number one which I think will be on a lot of people's list is Jeepers Creepers Reborn uh, you want to talk about a piece of crap this is it uh, this is a movie that didn't need to be made it, from the acting to the story. They had Dee Wallace in this movie and they actually just wrecked her. It, it, oh my God. And the look of the creeper is just so generic. Oh my God. It, just destroyed the franchise. This movie makes uh, Jeepers Creepers 3 look like an Oscar winning movie. Uh, and I don't hate Jeepers Creepers 3. I actually like it more than a lot of people do. But damn, it makes Jeepers Creepers 3 look great compared to this pile of crap. Uh, I, just, I don't know what else to say. But there you have it. Those are my top 10 worst movies of 2022. And there is more I could put on this list, but these are the bottom feeders. So, in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like the video, hit the like button. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my final uh, video, and that will be my top 10 disappointing movies of 2022. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.